Women in sports casting and in sports journalism probably began to really hit their peak, not their hit their peak, but hit their stride in the early 70s. And um, there was a period of time where the Cowboys actually had a problem uh, where the, the courts said you have to allow women into the locker room after games, and the Cowboys didn't want to do that. So they set up a separate interview room across from the locker room and gave all their players bathrobes, and they traipsed across the hall to be interviewed by women. Um, and by men, I mean, we weren't allowed in the locker room anymore either. Everybody was kept, kept out and kept separate. But um, it's gone to the point now where almost every sideline reporter is a female, where, the, in fact, I believe the head of the Pro Football Writers Association is a woman. And there really is no distinction anymore. But back in the 60s, oh, yeah, there was a huge, this, was, this was a guy's thing, and the women didn't mess with it. How would a woman have been received at the 66 training camp as a potential date? She would have been received very well. Beyond that, she wouldn't have been received well at all. It was a man's world all the way down the line. And I don't, I sincerely doubt there were any women there in 1966 in, in a journalistic sense. Uh, you got to have a woman, you know, on the staff. Uh, and they're all dreadful, I think. I mean, they, you know, some of them are personal, you know, and then they put, but uh, they just don't have the knack. Women shouldn't be writing sports.